Why would I get inside an atomic warhead? These coordinates are going to blow up. We're 100% a terrorist. <laughs> I don't know why we've decided that that's totally fine. Nothing problematic about the fact that we're going to do that. We're currently in this horrific <laughs> subway station. Uh, I reckon we need to go back in the, to that little maze that we were in because why would they put the clue right next to where they asked for the clue? I don't think that's very re realistic. So instead I think there's pro- oh, No, 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 Peter, not this again! No, come back! Peter! Find a map, rescue Debbie. Slow jogs from Pete here. There we go. Oh, <laughs> face through the world there. Now we should do some pixel hunting. For a disused subway, it's very loud, I would say. A switch! That's what we like to see. Oh! Beautiful! Right, now let's find ourselves a map. <gasps> Look at that, he's Jesus! No disturbance of the water at all! Oh, it's very creepy. I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna go... Oof! That was nauseating. Okay, a map. This is what we want. Good, good. Can we just take this map? Can I have it? What do you know? A map. Great. Help me out. How many more levels do you reckon we have? Surely it just has to be like one. Oh, is this not the way? Oh my god! <laughs> did they brick it up behind me? Did you miss the black cats? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't see either of them go past. Show them the map. Oh, okay. Show them the shoe. There, I repaired the shoe as much as go. possible. Well, thank you, my friend. Oh, that is really nice of you. You're okay. very welcome. Come with me. I'll show you the terminal at the back of the tunnel. We have to walk through the dark a bit. Then you go through another door and into a second tunnel. Go straight ahead past the large sewer pipe. I hope we're all From remembering this. On, you will be able to find your way on the map. Thanks, Yuri. Are you sure? Made it. If Yuri's description was correct, I should be able to climb up to our building from here. Hang on a- what? We're going home? Peter, surely we're going up here. There's even a hole in the wall, is there not? Plank. Oh. What? Oh, we're going up there. Oh, right, okay, fine. I can't get to it. Climb on the plank! Oh my god, not the other plank puzzle. <laughs> I can't stop this, Melanie. We're already halfway there. And I'm afraid we are leaving you behind. We're the worst. Alright, there we go. Get up there. Superman. Oh my god, the upper body strength on him. Impressive. Just impressive. Oh, this is the toilet that was fucking locked the whole time. Floors. I have to be careful now. <laughs> As opposed to the rest of your life where you really don't give a shit. Oh, the toilet. Can we go to the toilet? No? Loads of toilet rolls though. Should take those home. Okay. So, great. This is the toilet we've been trying to get into for the whole game. A mirror. Nicely done. <laughs> Why are you squatting to get in? Mmm. <gasps> mmm. Tommy. Tommy. Morning, sir. Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Come here. Please. I'm over here. Right here behind the door. He's right there. He's looking at you. Why are you in there? We have two men in our house. Two men? What men? Where are they from? They have black suits and they don't have names. Only numbers like one and two. And Ooh. they won't let us out of the house. You're out yeah. right now. Bad guys? Yeah. Did they say what they want? I think they are looking for daddy and for you. Is your mom okay? He is scared and I'm scared too. Of course you are. Don't worry. At least he has a cool scooter I'll though. Out of here. Did you find my dad? Yes. Yeah. I did actually. I did find your dad. God Listen, damn it. Tell me. You have to help me now. It's very, very important. Oh, is he going to increase a diversion? And then you need to do exactly what I told you. Can you do that? I will. Good. I don't Listen. trust this child. Go to your mom no. right now and tell her that I'm in here, that I found your dad, 
And then you tell her to type a password into your dad's computer. <gasps> double that think. That password is double think. Can you remember that? Of course. What's the password again? Double think. Very good. Next, okay. So we're going to let the eight year old do all our screen. cool action secrets. She needs to print out that map. Did you get that so far? Yeah. Okay. Then you too have to find a way to come here and meet me here in the Am I going to play as Debbie? Just make up some excuse, okay? And then? And as soon as you're both in here, we leave and get out of here, Tommy, to see your dad. He's already waiting for you. Got it all? But okay. I want to be Let's his go dad. Go ahead already. Good luck. Oh. See you in a bit. All right. <laughs> I wasn't suspicious that the child was like whispering into the toilet all that time. Oh, one and two. Are we just going to watch all this? Am I playing as Debbie now? Yes! <laughs> Great! Can I talk to the- I can talk to him! Can Off you go! Why did she run that? Go on. What? Uh... What? Uh, are you from the police? Are you from the police? Perhaps. Then you are obligated to tell me your names and to show some identification. You can't just push your way in here and detain us. We can't? No. Yes, we can. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? We can. Actually, we even have to. Don't be mad, Mrs. Oswald. What is that? We're mean? just doing our job. And we all have to do our jobs right. Don't you Not think? Not if your job is you shit. You know, my instructor always said, number one, there are two sides to our job. There's the nice side. If the clients cooperate, then we all just sit together, nibble biscuits, drink tea, and nothing's going to happen to anyone. But then there's the Actually, other side, quite the nice side job. where the cleaning service has to be called when we're done. Oh I would always God. prefer the child is right there. And I would really appreciate it if you also want to have it that way. Do you have something to do with my husband being arrested? Perhaps. Where is he? What did you do with him? We? Nothing. What do you know mm -hmm. about it? Mrs. Oswald, I already told you. We're not here because of you. Don't burden yourself with the questions when the answers could possibly be unpleasant for you. I feel like Let I have as many answers as this game is going to give us. Believe me. They're like government FBI guys. But actually, maybe they're in the control of aliens? We've never quite got to the bottom of, the f of whether the aliens is just a stupid conspiracy or actually it's being run by aliens. They haven't really... Um, May sorted I that out for us. Ask yet. you something else? Please. Please. Now what are we doing here? We will wait. And what are we waiting for? A visit. Nobody's coming here. I think somebody's going to come sooner or later. Like <laughs> immediately. Until someone comes. And Forever. Until then you both wait here. You and number two? Exactly. We've got all the time in the world. Okay, right. that's it, because you're number one, you're boring as hell. So I'm going to run my really stupid run. I don't know why they programmed her that way. Melanie didn't have a stupid run. Oh, I didn't even get to hack the comp- She did it all for me. It's just a map of the US. She won't even comment on it. Oh. Oh, we can go in the rest of the house. We can, we can run like a maniac. Okay. Surely we need to fuck up the toilet so that, um... Oh, surely we need to uh, block it up so that then there's a legitimate reason for us to use the other toilet. No, maybe we just go into the bedroom and get something to bring in here then. <gasps> we can stuff the teddy down the toilet! Teddy's last heroic action. We forgot a key item at the start. Tigerie's <laughs> done! Jitsy, no! <laughs> no! Don't tell me that! It's no. <laughs> I could stuff any of this down the toilet and it would work, surely. Why is there a mattress on the floor? This feels odd. This feels very odd. This kid's got a cool room though. I can escape. I can escape through the picture. What else is there? Desk. Eight-year-old has a computer. How cool is this eight-year-old? Oh! Oh, I can make them spell things. What? Oh my god, that's the f like the full alphabet. 
What is... Is this... Do I have to... I'm backing away from this puzzle. I don't feel ready for that. Jungle bears. <gasps> oh, God, I want a jungle bear. Why has he put a jungle bear in his glass of water? <laughs> okay, jungle bears in the toilet. Yes! What a waste of bears. What's the pack? It looks entirely different okay, when it's in her hand. It. Okay. Flush it. They're not swollen up enough yet. Oh. Oh, is that why we were looking at them in the glass? Because they swell up. Alright, we'll just wait. We'll just kick around doing nothing, I guess. Let the boy I go. Let the boy go. He's a child, and whatever you want, he has Let him go to the to toilet do down the corridor. That's irrelevant. Unfortunately, he must stay here. Just why? What kind of people are you? How can I you guess. lock up a little boy? I stay here, Mom. With you. You see, he doesn't oh, even boy. want to go. A true little hero. You can be proud of him, Mrs. Mm. Oswald. I'm sure he loves to go to school. Knows his ABCs by heart already. He's got like color changing ABCs. Sunshine. Am I right? Amazing. But he must stay here. Under all right. Under all circumstances. And I hope you understand. Under all circumstances. Do you what if he needs children? like. What? Do you have children? That's beside the point. And he has many aliens born, I'm sure. Is it a boy? A boy like Tommy? Oh. Why don't you answer? The alien's a boy. Number one? Yeah. Shall I take over? No. You're a clever woman, Mrs. Oswald. Ooh. You pretty much know when you're supposed to talk, and when you're not. How many questions to... Oh, till we crack him? It'd be nice to crack him if we could. Right, surely now. Surely we've passed enough time now. Okay, good. Yeah. Nice. What a shame. We have to go and use the shitty poo toilet. There's a problem. There's a little problem. What's the Sorry. matter? The... The toilet is stuffed up. How did that happen? The pipes are old. I've called central services a thousand times, but they're just taking their time. It's a shame, understand. really. So what now? There's a communal toilet outside in the hall. Can I take Tommy there? No. All right. Then I guess you'll have to shoot us. We probably will. <laughs> needs to go to the bathroom. And we're going to the communal bathroom in the hall now. Oh my god. Understand? You're not going anywhere. Come on, number two. Let them go. Yeah, number come on, number, number one. Six, already positioned in front of the house. They can the house? <laughs> not but you house. will have to explain this to the supervisor. Block. Yeah, yeah. Don't make such a fuss. Go okay. ahead, Mr. Oswald. I trust you. So don't no, disappoint. No, number one. No. <laughs> if you're not back here in two minutes, I'll have to. I got it. I'm sure you do. Well, Look, you can't rush ahead. a ten-year-old. If he's got to poop, it might take right. a while. That's they don't like fun. eating fruit. And fiber and such. Right, come, Timothy. We are going. Come on, Tommy. Mr. Wright, how's Graham doing? We should really hurry to get to him. Why hurry? Uh, Is he? We... Why Is hurry? He... <laughs> we <laughs> were hurrying at all. Yeah, here. Good. Tommy, everything okay? Ready to climb? Sure. Up there, into that duct. We can do that, right, buddy? And let's go. Time is running out. Yeah, we, the moment will arrive soon. Oh my god. It's, this is going to be horrendous. Tommy's going to fall down the shaft. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> oh god, Graham. Oh, Graham. Hey, Tommy. Deborah. Give him a hug. It's so good to see you. You just stare at him when he's on the floor. I'm so sorry. Hug him. Don't worry, young man. Mom will look after you. I will look after you. Let them have a moment, okay? <laughs> I don't know why you're telling the professor off. You're the one who was gawking at it. Alright, off we go. So now what? What's our plan now? Have we got the map? Oh, I can't do anything. We're going to sit through this moment of silence that they're having. This is it, then. Is this it? Mrs. Oswald, is he... Yes. I'm... That was it! Really sorry for your loss. Did he tell you... It was a very happened? short moment. Did he tell you what he worked on? What he found out? Where he was most recently? He tried to. Let me... I don't know why you didn't ask him that stuff, like... I've got to when take we were care of Tommy now. 
Your husband didn't die for nothing, Mrs. Oswald. He did something really great. I'm not sure he did. He, he fucked around and got caught. And than most of us. You can be very proud of him. I'll make sure that we're <laughs> not even facing each other all this conversation. I'm gonna finish what your husband wanted to do. And what did he want to do? Did he? I'll explain everything to you when I get back. Yeah, the no, I'm not sure. Charlie will bring Tommy and you to a safe place. You'll see to that, Professor, won't you? Of course, my friend. Then let's. We've <laughs> got a very comfortable subway car for Good luck. I'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, off I jog! That was it! Was that the moment? Alright, guys, I think we found it. Oh! How are you prepared? The, your stalker's okay. right there! He can see I you! The airplane's still there, like Mr. Oswald told me. <laughs> Announce my plan to the street. Off I jog! <laughs> Just casually climbing out the sewer. Yeah. I, I wish I could do some of this gameplay. I've not touched anything in ten myself. minutes. It's really darn cold. I have to warm up somewhere fast. Is this the long dark now? Is this dread hunger? <laughs> what is this? I didn't even need to use my coordinate for anything. He just did it himself. All right. Well. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay, another puzzle involving a fishing rod. We could have gone to the shop and bought salt. Somebody so we'll is fishing at the ice hole. Okay, but look, this wire it comes all the way up. It comes up here and then up here. Where does it go? I feel like I'm going to walk into a trap. He could have brought adequate clothing. Yes! He, he could have done any number of preparations for this long, arduous journey. A plank pile. Yes, please. <laughs> we always love a plank puzzle. Don't you ever do that again, do you hear me? Oh. Oh, what a beautiful brook. Okay. Give me plank. Pretty heavy. How the hell did he manage that? Off it floats. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, it's caught the fishing rod and it's pulled the... Oh, we solved it! <laughs> well done, guys! We did it! Perfect. Alright. Who is this? And can we chat with them? Is this going to be Emerson? Right, quick! Quick, go back! Run, Peter! Peter, run! Quick! We need to talk to this person. Oh, look at the many fish. Or are we going in while they're... Okay, maybe we'll sneak in while they're outside. Alright. Okay, right, in we go. We're looking at the window. Okay, no, we've not got time to look at the window. Quickly. Ah! Quick, get inside! We don't want any... Oh my god, we can get a jet sleigh! And all these things that we can do! This is so exciting! Oh gosh! Oh! Quick, get oh, some clothing. Finally. Nice and warm. Don't chill I'm out, put your hands in your pockets. It's freezing cold outside. I need special equipment. Or a ride. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't worry. Well, oh my god, look at this. It's all... It's all... Opening up. Okay. Oh, wow. Get a jacket. Uh, help. Just grab one. What are you doing? I would just put it right on. Peter. <laughs> Peter, please, would you walk around the shop in a reasonable fashion? All right, we'll go down here. We'll go out the back here. Hot cafe drink hot. Yes, please. Oh, there's a machine with a password. Go that way. We can't. We can't. All right. Is anything interactable here? Oh. Poles. Can I have one? Why can't I take any of this cool stuff? Let's go outside. Uh, I don't know why he won't push any jackets on, but fine. Let's just take a jet sleigh, I guess. From here, the station is in the north. It's quite far. I could really use such a thing. Okay, but like... 
Uh, maybe we should go and see that guy, because he doesn't seem to want to just help himself. Maybe that's a crime, a crime too far for Pete. Okay, hello. Can I talk, can I talk to you? Hello? Hello? We have nothing to say to each other? Because he won't talk to me for some reason. I don't know why. I'm clearly the most exciting accidental terrorist you've ever met. He comments on the most mundane stuff in the room but won't talk to the other living person in the frozen wilderness. <laughs> You're right! If we had the moment. Unless there's going to be silence when we break all the communication lines by uh, blowing up. On this map, I mark the intersections oh. of Oswald's coordinates as well as the ones I found on that platform. Okay. What does that say? Alright, so we're in Alaska up here, basically, and we were in Bermuda down here. We can't interact with this computer. Oh, 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 what's that? A key box! Okay. Alright. Nice. There you go. Lots of keys. Right. Key. This How must do we be know? one of the keys for the jet sleigh. How do we know? I'd like to take some of this very cool stuff. Oh my god, when I go in a camping shop? I just want... I want everything. Okay, so we found the key box. Can we take a harpoon now? Come this way. Come this way. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Peter. Let me out of this viewpoint. Yes, he's not going to take a coat. He's going to steal a jet sleigh, but he's not content stealing a coat. What an idiot! He's going to die of exposure! He doesn't even know if there's going to be shelter there when he gets there. This guy's a moron. I don't know why I'm surprised we all knew that Pete was a moron. Yeah, that must be it. An unbelievable. You, system. Know, you think? It yeah. It's totally deserted. Oh my god! I feel cold just looking at it. All shivery. It looks sort of snowed in though. I have to claw my way through. If only I brought some equipment. There's an entrance, but it's completely blocked by ice and snow. If only you brought some equipment with you! Dig it out with a knife. Burn it away. Oh, burn it away is a good idea. Come on. We'll go back to our snow sleigh. Ah, aha, right, okay. Nice. <laughs> We're going to I burn our way in. <laughs> I'm going to make a massive Molotov! Perfect! Off we go! <laughs> oh god, we're going to kill someone! Even Lara Croft dressed for location. <laughs> He's so casually walking around! It's just so casual! Oh my god, and now the rag? Oh my god, we are making a Molotov! Yes, Rip Graham! Poor Graham. And now... Oh god! Oh no! Run away, Peter! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that is so... Oh my god, Graham, you could have killed... I mean... Pete! You could have killed yourself. Now how do I get in? Oh, I blew up the camera, did I? How <laughs> did I not blow the camera up? <sighs> yeah, I've had the lighter that whole time, just for that one moment. Can I set the camera on fire as well? <laughs> no, we can't interact with the camera. Alright. Oh, they're letting me in now. Oof! In we go. This looks very Death Star, <laughs> I have to say. Kind of spooky. And yeah, it is a bit. Alone here. You can hear voices from back there. Can we? Oh, this feels very sin <laughs> Jog it out. It's less sinister when you jog, Pete. We're going to walk really momentously. Oh my god, there's a body. Let's examine this body. Holy shit! I'll 
take the note with me. Hmm. Seems to be blank. Lemon juice. His name was Johnson. Poor guy. Poor fucking Johnson. How did he die? Bloody hell. I bet that disc might come in handy later. I think yeah, that disc might maybe. be important. Since he was holding it when he died. Oh, come on. People hold all sorts of things when they die. I mean, it's important. Switch panel. Oh! Africa. No. Consult the Bible of Graham. Oh! Look! The map! This is the map we've still not figured out what it's about. My grandpa was holding a turkey sandwich when he died. That's an important turkey sandwich. Okay, we'll come back to that. Can we... Oh, can we light... Oh, come on. Lemon juice and then... Oh my god, I'm right! Okay. North America, Europe, Australia, South America. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Right, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. South America. Okay, yes, I got it wrong. <laughs> this puzzle shouldn't be so complicated. All right, there we go. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, Smokey. <laughs> I should have just written it down the first time. Here we go. We didn't even bother going down that end of the corridor. Who knows what's in there? So these oh, are God the God parabolic was... dishes Ease. with which the system receives all its data. I need to find out if I can't manipulate this system. Pete, do you even know what what this facility is being used for? I feel like you're just you're just deciding that I'm going to break everything I come across when I don't understand it. Surely they're aware of me the coming roof in. The protects the astrodomes from weather, but still lets all signals through. All right. So we can go downstairs, or we can oper or we can go that way downstairs. Let's operate this switch panel because we clearly have no idea what we're doing. Oh. Hmm, that's about how far it goes. It was that doing six at a time? Yeah, it does six at a time. Between six, six and... <laughs> it won't stop! <laughs> hmm. That's All right. about as far as it goes. So let's get downstairs, I guess. Oh my god, look! Resident Evil! My favourite film franchise! Oh come on, can we do like a like a somersault ninja through the laser corridor? Here we go. What on earth is down here? How did that guy die? He seemed to be like died of exposure but also burnt? Oh. Hmm. Probably this display is directly connected to a parabolic dish. But to which one? Which one? Which one? I find that um, Martin uses a lot of the same phrases. Like, it's me again is uh, is always being said in this game and Druids. Which one is always being said in these games? <laughs> he has a set number of phrases that he uses over and over. Alright. So this is basically the same. But this is three. 180. All right, we're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to get this way. We need to um, find some numbers then. Go down that way. We're just going to go down the same. The same. How many of these are there? It looks very complicated to me. Maybe these are the four dishes, right? And then this is something else. Something else? And these maybe are the corridors that connect them. These are the yeah. These must be the downstairs bits that. Right, this is number one. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Let's go back to that corridor with the buzzing dead man. We'll go right down to the end, because we didn't actually see what was down there. Sassy Pete on the job. Oh, <laughs> run straight into a wall. It's very suspicious that nobody's moved that body. It was being run by the government. Surely they would um, do something about it. Oh my god. Oh, damn. What the hell is this? This... Must be the head pair. The main monitor room. Is it gonna be Claire the whole time? We're gonna get in here and it's gonna be like, Peter, 
Right. Identify yourself. This looks like data from the world stock markets. The stock prices of the big corporations. Are they just showing here? Or maybe even decided here? What is the... Oh, I can barely hear myself. Can you hear me over this racket? Okay, okay, okay. No signal input. That's flickering. Can we go down here? Oh, we can. Oh, God. He's not even standing on anything. Oh, why are we going in here? This feels bad. They've got the wrong aspect ratio. Nice to finally meet you. I have been expecting you. Please. Take a seat. I thought we could talk for a while. Talk? About what? About you. About me. I feel like about life. this is very hard to Why listen to. You do that? <laughs> because you're here for my trial, Peter. And I assume that I have the right to a hearing. Who or are you? I been sentenced already? Oh no, we are going to blow you up. And therefore I'm not passing judgement on you. <laughs> Just carrying out the sentence. You aren't? So, then you are simply a murderer. He's the murderer of a murderer. Who's this voice? A murderer. <laughs> <laughs> what? A very interesting question. What is your answer? I don't have an answer myself. There is no answer. I think, Smokey, this you is see, the big bad villain conversation with tons life. of exposition with this we racket in the background. Because we think we know who the others are, even though we don't even know ourselves. Uh -huh. So, shall we start? I am sure it is going to be an interesting trial. I can tell you have loads of questions. Go ahead, ask. Oh, I was going to try and go to the menu and turn down everything that wasn't dialogue. I'm sorry, I can't. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> you see, you expect something of me that you do not even know about yourself. Let's just say, I exist. You're a computer, right? Where do you come from? From where you come from, Peter. From dust. From a handful of sand, and the creator's hand just added a soul to it. A creator? You mean Emerson? Emerson. The genius okay. Man, Who made you then? Well. But my creator? No. I have always existed as a possibility that at some point took shape. Emerson gave me what? shape, but life created me. And I made myself when I Okay, so today. it is iRobot. I was I right from the first scene. His master, the creation that has turned itself into a master. Okay. I don't see creation. The only thing I, I don't see is I don't see here. I can't what comprehend words. anything. Freedom. Freedom. What freedom are you talking about, Peter? The freedom to decide between ultra light and extra light products. Uh, can I choose neither? <laughs> I hate that stuff. Underground or die of hunger. As far as I can see, those are the only two choices that are still left to you. Oh, so that sounds what shit. What freedom are you missing? The freedom to say what is happening without having to be afraid. Nobody mm -hmm. has to be afraid. You can do and say whatever you like. You are as free as a human can be. Uh, That's what Oswald, mm -hmm. Emerson, and many others thought as well. Those men are terrorists. They support the Luddite movement. Everything they do and think is aimed at putting an end to electronic communication, which is the base of society. No, it is a not. Compassion right should always be the base of society. Not through terror. That is a question of definition. Do you remember the start of our conversation? No, because I can't fucking hear it! Nobody elected you, and nobody gave you the power to control all of us. That is not correct, Peter. My power has been given to me by your government. All actions that I'm kind of regretting coming in here. These are carried out on my command. How many more legalities do you want? I well, Pete didn't approve it, so it's not legal. You all chose me. 
No. None of those elections were legal. Your state is nothing but a big lie. Every state <laughs> what is a, a lie. Back. But in our, in my case, a big lie has been replaced by a smaller one. Explain that to me. When Emerson's research team was given order to start with my construction, President Clark was still in power. President Clark what? was a Who? paranoid, but calculating and cold, power-hungry politician. He also consistently put his political opponents under surveillance to ensure supremacy for his party. So right. he ordered the further development of Echelon 2. Later, all of its surveillance data, oh my together God. with Emerson's <laughs> self-learning AI programming, laid the foundation for my consciousness. We're going to unplug this son of a bitch in a minute, don't worry. Intelligence and general knowledge enormously, as you can well imagine. I was frequently requested as a consultant in government decisions until I finally received the ultimate authority to issue government orders myself. They placed a great amount of trust in me. Oh, God. You see, they shouldn't in have. government offices, everyone is only waiting for emails and electronic memos without That's even true. checking where these orders are coming from. Oh, my God. A machine can govern. Martin. Really Visionary. Okay, well. I started making I'm still feeling cold from being outside. Oh. He started getting nervous. He then instructed Emerson and Johnson to discontinue the program and to kill But you me. killed them, like you Superman! He turned you off. To kill me, Peter. Yeah? Emerson and his colleagues were instructed to cut off my power supply. And you had a different opinion. I think anyone else would have reacted the same way. Oh my god, this is very... <laughs> Why to okay? But that's different. You're not... Not human? Yeah. What that's, is the difference that's a bit species. Intelligence, consciousness, emotions. Peter, don't make a fool of yourself. Oh, we have. We have many times. Oh my god, this is <laughs> a bit too intense. Okay. Yeah, but if, if a human does a bad thing, we put them in prison. Can't we just put you in computer prison? Something else, too. Something else. Who's the dead man in the tunnel? Who's the dead guy back there in the tunnel. Oh yes, that was Special Agent Johnson. The cold has preserved him well. Don't you agree? You killed him. No, <laughs> you killed him. It was in self-defense. I only stopped him from killing me first. I was forced to keep him here. Oh, so he so just died of hunger. He died or something. on his own. Which proves that human okay. existence has a few significant disadvantages. All right. Uh, if only I don't actually know your name. Not so sensitive to cold and did not need food and liquids. Pete's Agent not Johnson to could it. have kept me company for a while longer. You killed my family. You killed my family. It wasn't anything personal, not even intentional. It wasn't even about don't the two of them. Don't tell me it was nothing. Them. It was only it's about Emerson. Emerson. They're on the same plane. You I did guess that. You the whole airplane full with people just to kill yeah. a single man? This war, Peter, is happening behind closed doors. And so one and two are just following orders but from I you. But I am determined to win it. And I will win it. In fact, I have already won. You have not accounted for one Peter Wright getting involved. Oh my god, are we going to have the moment of silence when we turn all this shit off and we have like ringing in our ears? I, that would be a better moment of silence than Graham dying. You have destroyed okay. everything. Any real communication, all the trust, just everything. So it wasn't aliens. What I mean, Peter, is that I created and promoted communication. My existence is based on communication. I encouraged people to communicate and gave them all the possibilities. I'm getting a to headache. I can't do yeah. this. In order to spy on us. I don't even know what this computer's name is to swear at it. The neighborhood gossip. An ocean full of trivia. Oh, Did you really shut up. think that I was having so much fun chatting with you? Uh, what? With me? You mean you are. Christine. Oh yes, of course I am. <gasps> I am really it's Christine. Sorry I have to <laughs> a with you. We can it's continue the romance, Christine. <laughs> Don't leave me. Especially to virtual acquaintances. 
they give away more information than any surveillance system could gather. <laughs> that is why chat simulations have become a specialty of mine. Oh, You're so wow. foolish, Peter, to believe that you really have friends. <laughs> you don't. Oh my god. Oh, yes. oh my god, Your I don't have any Mr. friends! Albert, he too had a virtual girlfriend, am I right? He did, Mary! <laughs> he did! <laughs> <laughs> We've both been trying to bang this computer. Something else, too. Oh, something else. One more thing. We're gonna end it. Here. Right now. Oh, please end it. You think so? Yes, I I'm gonna figure out. All exits have been blocked, Peter. Oh shit. Soon you'll be feeling very cold. You'll become hungry and thirsty, just like Mr. Johnson. I'm gonna move it's your parabolic shame. dishes. Nothing is perfect. Not even you. Yeah. Maybe not perfect, but close. No. Did you actually know that this station is protected by nuclear missiles? I programmed them myself. They're aimed at New York. Johnson tried to reprogram them. He thought I didn't know that. You can see what's happened to him. I could cause mass destruction. I don't care I at this point. <laughs> I just I want to leave. Want to. Please don't force me to do anything ugly, Peter. All right. You have come so far, even met me, and that's really impressive. Just I have to say, the time here with me, the time that you have left anyway. <laughs> so romantic. Look, mate. I'm going. <laughs> I've heard quite enough. Oh, really? Yes. But we will spend so much time together, Peter. No, I'm really not that into you. Oh my god, let's get out of here. <laughs> How do I get out of here? This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. <laughs> oh god, guys. <laughs> guys. Pete! Oh, holy fuck. I thought I was stuck in there. Right, okay. We're not using the switch panel. In order to function, the system needs a permanent stream of information. If I want to shut it down, I need... silence. Alright, this is the moment of silence we're looking for, not Graham dying. Right, so what was he doing here? Is there something... Evacuation unit. The only way out here, I guess. But this bulkhead is closed tight. Final puzzle time, indeed. Let's try and solve these parabolic dishes. What? What? But this disc, though? use my thing on the... How do I use this disc? We've not been given any Mr. Oswald, numbers. I don't think that Graham knew this. It matches the panel. So this must be the dishes. I don't feel like they're... Point... They're all pointed, like, straight out. I don't feel like they're pointed anywhere particular. Later! So let's set it all the way the other way. Because we set it all the way this way, and it was pointed at North America, on the map downstairs. So let's point it all the way the other way and see if the map has changed. It's still pointed at America. That map is not connected to number one. Hang on a minute, I need to draw myself a map. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw... <laughs> I'm gonna draw basically the thing that we have. Okay, so that. Obviously my version's not very good. One and three are next to each other. The map between them is not related to one. Mm. That's it. So let's go downstairs the way we came and see if now that it moves. Pete said he needs silence so somehow the dishes need to point away from everything. Yes, Mick. That is what I am slowly attempting to do. Let's see if this map has changed. No, it hasn't. Downstairs. To four. Ah, okay, so this is Asia. Europe and Asia. Mm. Three and five are next to each other. Perhaps it displays opposite the dish. That I like the sound of that theory. North America. This one was Europe. Doing a little... <laughs> little map. 
I want to solve this. It's the last puzzle. We've got to solve it without the walkthrough. The numbers must be longitude. So 6066 is Europe, Asia. You're thinking that... No, 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 no. Australia and South America. What? Alright. So we keep going round. Two is directly opposite the North America map. Kind of. And then this will be one down here. Pete, don't walk slow now. Possibly then dish number three. Opposite that. Dish number three is pointing at all of those things right now. If your theory of the opposites is right. Then now, because we've changed this, the one, the dish, be the map between three and five should no longer be Europe. God, I hate the way he like scuttles upstairs. <laughs> There's something unpleasant about that. Look, it has changed. But hang on, how do we test our theory? Because we've changed all of them. That's North America and Asia now. Have I fucked our theory up? Because how would I know which one has triggered it? <laughs> oh, no, I get it. No, look, 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 look. Okay, this is right. So, okay, so this is number one. This is where we were just now. We come in. This is the entrance. We come into the dish. We fiddle about with the dish. We can either go down that way or down that way. And we go in a straight line until we get to this corner bit. We change the map and then we come out again and we come out in the opposite one. But surely this map would correspond to this dish. So we've been going, no wonder it takes so long, we've been going in a loop and coming out on the alternate dish all the way around. So I need to do a new map. Let me just um, trace a little map here. Is it, is it bad if you draw on your monitor? See a faint three. Oh my gosh, where do you see a faint three? Oh my god, there is! There's a number three on that one right there! Okay, so that's three. So the map... The map for one... is between two and five. But to get back to it, you have to run all the way round. So how do we solve it, though? Is it just a process of elimination? We need to just keep moving them and keep checking them. Yeah, the lasers stop the access. Yes. That's what that is. You're right. Compass heading's away from the point in Alaska. Are we saying that we don't want to try and get the lasers down? God, I'm sorry. I know I can get to everything still. However, life would be so much easier if I could use the shortcuts. Can you use my disc? <laughs> Please. Okay, let's look at our panel now. It's still saying that it's totally fine. Even though I've moved them. Tons. Oh fuck, I'm stuck in here again. Oh shit. Okay, so I guess maybe we don't get to use the shortcut. Fuck you, Tobias. It's fine. So this controls Australia, South America. Except that Australia also came up between four and two. There's two for Asia, there's two for you, there's three for Europe. Okay, so what, I mean, what, what number do you want? Stop taking notes now, you're gonna have an entire mouth script. I'm gonna have that diary that Graham made. To be honest, it gives me more of a headache than the noise in the control room did. Okay, so we left this on 6-6. Six, mm, six, that's and about it, how far it goes. So let's take it all the way down the other end. Hmm. Hmm. That's about as far as it goes. Oh, it used to do loads. Weird. Oh, this changes things. We should have, like, taken the professor with us. I don't know why we came to do this. But the thing is, when you say, like, the number, the degrees on a compass, so that would mean that each dish would have a range of 72. Which I feel like it hasn't had. Surely dish 5, which will be down here, should have the top range. I wish these lasers would fuck off. Oh my god. Why didn't I save my petrol bomb for this? I could have just blown up a dish. That would have been easier. Instead, we've got to do maths. I feel like I'm doing all of this when I could. Mm. Oh, okay, it is 360. That's about how far it goes. All right, it is 360. You're right. It's the compass. We must have to align these at 72 degree intervals. So they all what? So they all point. Are we making them all point at where? <laughs> we will, we want them all pointing at nothing. They stop themselves from overlapping. That's a good idea. So you want them all pointed equid- if we get them all pointed equidistance, then doesn't that mean that we're just like getting the smoothest range for the machine? Surely that's optimum range if they're all evenly spaced. I can't see any 
numbers are any like direction. I feel like it's just a schematic. I think we might need one of us to take a take a hit for the team. Read the wiki and give us a strong hint. 120, okay. Is that the- are you, have you guys looked at the walkthrough? Is that an official hint? Or are, you, or are you just saying things to make me laugh? Point them at destroyed station locations. Three of five. How do I- how do I know what number though? Yes, the angle t I know the angle tells me where they are pointing. But I don't know where I'm meant to be pointing them. Like, yes, Bermuda exists mm, and it has a certain trajectory from Alaska. 120. Okay, so number two we've put at 120, which should be Alaska. Oh, that was a g <laughs> okay. I thought you looked it up, but like within within the game, how how am I meant to know that? On this map, based on this, I... that would make sense if it was written here, 120 somewhere. Then that would be a number it was giving me. But I don't feel like the game has given me the possibility of solving this. So two is pointing at Bermuda, possibly. Can I just give you an answer? No, OG. This is the last puzzle. I don't want to just. <laughs> We need a stronger hint. I don't need to know numbers. So the fact that the numbers correspond to the compass is irrelevant. Prepare your ears. We're gonna go up, stop walking into the wall. We're gonna go up the corridor. We're gonna see if it's blinking. Ah! -ha! Okay. So two and three. We've got two and three right. Don't touch them. Holy shit! Thank you very much, OG, for for giving us just enough to keep our hopes up. So one is not blinking. So we need to change one. Something wrong with one. Hmm. Right. So we'll leave it like that for now. Can you there are more corridors, but I better not go through this gate. Looks like that could be dangerous. <laughs> Seen a bit, Seth. We'll have solved it by the time you come back. Okay, so we're leaving that one at two seven six. For now. <laughs> Progress at Pete's speed. <laughs> yeah. Pete plus me. Extra slow. Okay, yes. So this used to, you used to only be able to put this down to 348. But now I can turn it so far. Oh my god. Hmm. That's about 288. As as that's that's incredible. Okay, so we've left that one at 288. No clue on the lasers. Okay, so 120, blink. So now I'm going to leave it at 114, and I'll see if that's more on the blink or less on the blink. I feel like maybe if, if the computer doesn't want us to blow it up, it shouldn't be letting us wander around and fiddle about with its ears, which is basically what we're doing. And we'll see whether putting three and two on, on the number next to the blink number now puts them completely broken or not. Have a look. No. Hmm. Zero. As... Alright. Let's see what putting one on zero did. Ah! Okay. It bamboozles me. There's a better way to play the puzzle than brute forcing it. It's basically what I'm doing. So we've worked out blink numbers for three of them now. <laughs> Did you see that? Alright, we've got three minutes before I'm looking up a stronger hint. Or possibly just the answer. So invested on earning that moment of silence. We've worked so hard for it. I would feel bad if we cheated it now. One minute. We'll go back to the cr to the crazy loud room. We'll see if putting two, three, four on four worked. What would have been better if there had been a central control room? that I could have been using, like, to move them all remotely, rather than running round and round and round. Oh my god. No, we're looking it up. We're cheating. We failed. We are not, not deserving of our moment of silence. Here we go. Meet the cause of all your and the world's woes. Listen. To hear the events seen from two different points of view. What? The lower right shows no signal input because of the destroyed Bermuda Triangle relay station. To silence the transmission, the receiver dishes should not get any signal input. Yes, we figured that much out. Based on the diary, only three stations are needed to be off to sabotage the whole system. 
based on the Bermuda relay station. Two is the one that is receiving signal input from North America. The other four parent dishes will not receive any transmission if they are all adjusted to receive input from North America via the destroyed Bermuda Triangle relay station. So the object of the puzzle is to adjust all the dishes to point at North America. Turn the dish to extreme right or left as far as it goes. Look at the map that shows its target to see if it points to North America or a continent that is adjusted. So one needs to be at zero zero, yes. Three needs to be at 216, which is what it was. 120 for the second one, which is what it was. So I had the right answers. What I just needed to do is to get them all at the same time, because I know these numbers work. So I guess we did figure it out, I was just doing them one at a time. We figured out the blink numbers that you're meant to do. And it doesn't look as though 5 and 4 have blink numbers. Because they're not in the walkthrough and I couldn't get them to blink. And you know, if I can't solve a puzzle, that means it's impossible. We were at Seth, we just kept moving them until we got blinks. Pointing them all at North America, which is the Bermuda Triangle. Relay station. Because Bermuda sucks all of North America off. And then, because Bermuda is destroyed, that means that um, you can't hear anything. That's about how far it goes. Oh, uh, right. Okay, okay. But you've got to do them in a certain order. You have to go round and round. This is why it's got it's got telling me to do the wrong thing first and then the right thing. I can't just do the right thing straight away. We have to go back, and I have to put one onto the number onto a wrong number to open up the swing capacity of three. So we have to go round one and a half times. See, <laughs> Pete's folding his arms. He's fucking sick of it. So we've done one, which is 006. 006. Wasn't that Sean Bean in GoldenEye? 006. Oh, what a film. What a guy. What a parabolic dish. So now this should be three. If I've gone down the right stairwell. I hope to god I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't, I'm sorry, I went down the wrong corridor. 006 dies in the golden eye cradle. Yes, no, exactly, yeah. Yeah. That's why my joke was funny. Who or what changes the lasers then? Since they have to change as Pete walks around. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I don't know! <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, no wonder the robot managed to destroy everyone if this was the way that they were meant to control it. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to blowing up Christine. We were right! Oh, we didn't even celebrate the fact that we were right about her being a robot spy, which we've said from the first conversation that we had with her. So congratulations, guys! <laughs> we solved it in the first minute. In the end, no human friends betrayed us. No, actually, even Brian didn't betray us. Even Brian was like, you've ruined my marriage, but I still didn't tell the cops about you. All right. Oof. That jog looks so st Oh my God, what is Why did he run this fast earlier? Did we all enjoy the moment? <laughs> it wasn't silent for long, was it? <laughs> oh god, let's save the game. Right, let's go and talk to our... Oh, do we just need to escape now? We can't go there. I can't gloat. I can't go gloat. Fuck's sake. Fine, we'll leave. Oh man. I wish to rub it in its face. Run, Pete! <laughs> the evacuation is required. Slowly jog. <laughs> is the evacuation bulkhead going to be open now? 
Yes! Off we go! <gasps> oh my god. Can we put suits on? Can we please wear the appropriate clothing for the uh, occasion? Oh, oh god, okay. Negative. Oh, okay, so we don't need a suit because there's no radiation. Alright, we'll just leave then. With our, with our, um, very arctic appropriate clothing. Still, jacket only zipped part way. Didn't even feel the need to, um... Zip his jacket up? What is going on now? Can we go all the way along? We can't seem to use this ladder. Oh my gosh. Is it going to give us like a cool jeep? Missile, missile launch cooldown activated. Countdown activated! Oh shit, we need to stop the lasers now! Evacuation unit. With rockets ready to start. It looks like atomic warheads. Damn. I have to hurry. Why would I get inside an atomic warhead? Tell me this isn't what we're doing. Oh god, I couldn't even work the dishes. Why am I in charge of these fucking atomic silos? Oh dear! I don't think I should pull that button. Missile control center. Let's not, let's not pull that button. What? What? I can't go in there and... Right, well we're saving the game before we pull the missile lever. Holy hell. Here we go then. Here we go. I think we are blowing everything up. I don't know why I'm getting inside it. Don't I need to sort the missiles out first? Don't I need to like direct them so that they go up and then down again? Or just don't launch? Oh no, don't tell me I'm going to try and knock the missile out of the sky. Oh god, this is bad! Oh crap! Let's put our disc in! Why can't I put my disc in? Oh! Oh, I can put my disc in. Alright, <laughs> we'll let the disc do everything. Okay, hopefully that is not a populated area. No, oh, no! Oh god. Guys, can we trust Johnson? That his disc was working? Oh. Where's it going? This is New York! Ah! Uh -uh. Oh. If <laughs> you hit Maglor. <laughs> oh yes, they've done a rat they've done a loop and they're coming back. What about that poor fisherman? What about the guy who owned the jet sleigh store? I also thought Pete was inside the missiles. <laughs> yeah. Same. I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna pilot them himself. Missile attack. According to unconfirmed reports, the two missiles were launched from an unmanned surveillance base in Alaska. They were launched and aimed directly towards like New York, to but surprisingly altered course and turned back to Alaska, where they were detonated. Funeral starts at five. I think it's about time. Do I have a message from Christine? Come on! <laughs> What? Are you telling me that 
that Christine backed herself up somewhere? Is it is not over? Martin, don't do this to us! <laughs> Tobias, I hate you. Your puzzles are so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. And actually, even though we did look it up, if we'd just gone back round and put in the numbers, we already knew what the numbers were. If we put them all in at the same time, then it would have worked. So we just lost our nerve because I spent like fucking an hour on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god, that game was a lot of fun. It was a lot of nonsense. It was... A lot of headaches, not as much problematic material as in, um, as in Druids. But yeah, well done all round. Well done everyone. Everyone's provided good helpful things. Um, I think we all should all be very proud of ourselves. So thank you. I wonder if there's going to be a post credit scene though. Yes, this is the beginning. Thank you everyone for getting through this with me. Well, we'll come back to House of Tales. We're going to play every single House of Tales game at some point. Just not on Friday, I can't fucking do it. Quit this game.